Right, filming. I'm just gonna take you through what a locked knee looks like. So here's a patient I'm about to do an ACL reconstruction on. This boy had a, uh, a twisting knee injury approximately two to four weeks ago, and he rehabbed himself, but unfortunately he went back to play uh, touch footy again, and his knee gave way again, and his meniscus has ruptured. So if you look over here, this is his, this is his right knee, look here. If this is his right knee, and it's nice and straight. But the left knee, when I pick it up, there's a bend in it. And that's because the meniscus is interposed between the two articulating surfaces. So it can flex in one direction, but it can't come out fully straight. And that's because the meniscus is locked between the two surfaces of the articulation. What we're gonna to have to do is do an ACL reconstruction and repair the, the meniscus. So we're now doing the arthroscopy to start off the case with. And if you look on the screen, that's the medial femoral condyle. And as I'm coming through into the joint space, here's the locked meniscus. So as I extend the knee, as I extend the knee, see that the meniscus is now jamming between the femur and the tibia at the bottom. So if you look over here, here I'm doing that and it's jamming. So I'll have to reduce that, they'll have to go back over there if you look on the back so this is where the meniscus has torn from its root there see the meniscus is torn from the back there sitting in the front has to go back and there's an acl rupture which is in here there's the acl rupture there okay good now here's a probe that i'm going to insert into the knee if you look on the screen just there that probe has just come through over there and here's the meniscus that's ruptured and I'm about to reduce it back to where it's come from. There it is. Okay. And it will have to be held in place and that will happen with a fast fix anchor suture. I'm going to put some sutures. Show me the fast fix. So here's a fast fix anchor suture. In here, there's a needle that's going to go through the meniscus and there's some little anchors in there that we're going to use to um, uh, hold the uh, meniscus together. This is a guiding uh, trocar that we put in and you can see it's going to come up into the knee in a second. There it is. Okay. And here we are, we're putting it next to the meniscus. Take this off. Here we are. You can see those little anchors in there. This angle here, same process. You put the guard in there, the there it is. Okay. Uh, three anchor switches, one here, one here, and one here. And you can see that it's nice and solid now it won't come forward okay even in here so this will allow it to heal he'll be non-weight bearing for six weeks in a flex position and hopefully this will heal up and it won't even need it okay